My name is Andrew Lockington. I am the music composer for the film Atlas. This is my eighth film working with director Brad Payton. For him, it's so important that the music is trying to often do the opposite of what's happening visually. We're hearing and seeing this immense visual spectacle of this world, and the music is trying to remind us of what is Atlas's emotional journey at the beginning of the film versus her thinking at the end of the film. It's also telling the story of prejudice and overcoming prejudice and opening our minds to new ideas. This score saw us going from Los Angeles, Canada, Japan, London. It was really an epic journey into finding what is the sound of the collision between humanity and technology. Japan really represents the synergy between technology and spirituality. And I wandered with my recording equipment, just the sounds of the streets, the sounds of nature. I recorded a bunch of different temples. You can hear the distant sound of a Japanese monk singing, and it wasn't what you would imagine any sort of chanting being. We recorded in an abandoned subway station underneath central London. So the reason I wanted to go down there is just the idea that you could make a sound and the sound travels all the way down the tube and then comes back again and it starts hitting you multiple times. So I loved that the sound we make now will actually add into the sound we make in the future and create this cloud. And it's a really important part of the score because later on in the film, a lot of that randomness ends up in very mathematical textures. I love working in London. And recording this at Abbey Road and Air Studios, it could not have worked out better. We were able to get the lushness of the strings, but the very fine detail of all the fast moving elements really helped us in that way. The Smith theme we use in a few different ways. And one idea was to use it as the on chime for Smith. So when she gets in the arc and it turns on and she's going through the tutorial and going through the, the menu at the beginning, we hear the same motif as we just heard. And it's... It's so important that the audience subconsciously absorbs these melodies so that when you really need to use it to emotionally affect them, they're already familiar with it, even though they're not conscious of being familiar with it. It's such a gift to get to work on projects like these. Every dream, every idea you have can be realized. And yet a studio and a director that are supporting it and behind you 100%. I think this film it will affect people in different ways and people will get different messages from it and different experiences. At this time with world events and everything going on, our differences are being highlighted more than our similarities. And I think this film really shows us how much we have in common and hopefully how we can overcome some of these boundaries that keep us from bonding.